Today, we're going to take a look at creating a new case in TrackOps. So we can do this from anywhere in the system by selecting the Cases tab and select a new case. So this will start the new case wizard. And the first thing that we're looking for is the client information. This is the person who's requested us to do this work, uh, this particular kind of investigation. So I can select a, an existing client from the list or I can create a new one by selecting new client and go through the process of adding them to the system. Next, I'll select the case type. In this situation, it's a worker's compensation case type. That's going to be the type of work that we're going to be doing for the client. And you can create your own case types and edit existing ones to really suit the needs of the, the work you're going to be doing. I'll assign myself as a case manager and I'll select continue. Now here we are at the case details. This is the information on your case type. So there's a lot of standard information. There's gonna be things like case flags, which will uh, al allow your uh, staff to be aware of certain, certain things on the case, like it's a rush case, we need to hurry up, or something like maybe the, the claimant surveillance aware, uh, as well as case services are going to be the actual actions that you're going to be performing on the case. So in this case, we'll be doing a background check and surveillance. Now you can create your own case flags and case services like you can with a lot of the items in track ops to reflect the work that you're actually going to be doing for a particular case type. Uh, some other things to note is that you can create your own custom fields for your your cases. In this, in this situation, I've added a date of injury custom field and a evidence of fraud question. So these are these are questions that I've added that are relevant to the investigation uh, and the way that I do my work for uh, uh, for this for this particular case type. I'm going to click save and continue. Great. Now we have the subject information, and this is going to be the primary subject of the investigation. So typically it's a person, but you can obviously create your own subject information depending on your investigation. Uh, and we've created all of these uh, all of these fields and customize them and move them in, into an order that, that seems appropriate for, uh, for us in the, in the work that we do. You can do the same thing. You can create your own fields and put them in any whatever, in whatever order that, uh, that you feel uh, that you feel comfortable or that looks the best to you. That's, that's a level of customization that, that exists in track ops. Uh, and so in this situation, I do need to put a first name in for this subject and we're gonna go ahead and move forward. We'll save subject and continue. Great, so this is the subject summary. If I had additional claimants or I wanted to add uh, additional subject types that were not necessarily captured in the primary subject, I could add them here. I'll select I'm done adding subjects, move on. Now, if I had some pieces of information, whether it's audio, video, photos, uh, documents that I wanted to add to the case, I could do that now. And I can, uh, I would just click and drag them in here and select a particular access group of who can see this information at this time. I don't have anything for this case right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip this step. Now I'm at the, the case summary page. I'm not quite, um, I'm not quite done yet. But uh, I do have an opportunity here to review all the information. I can edit any details, uh, but I can always go back and add and fill and, and flesh out this, uh, this information for this case later. I'm going to save this case and finish. And once I've done that, I now have the opportunity to assign staff. I can create events. See, I can assign staff and I can create events. I can create a case update, which would be the means of communicating uh, to my client and to my additional staff members. I can upload files as we saw previously. And in the event that you just move on and you, for, you close this box, don't worry, you can still do all those, uh, all, those, uh, all those tasks by selecting the different tabs. Here I can assign, you know, I can assign new folks. I can go onto my agenda and I can create new events. Uh, and I can go to my case updates tab and I can start communicating the particulars and uh, the important pieces of information of this case to my staff and eventually talk to my clients about my findings. That's the basics of creating a new case. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, do be sure you go up top next to your name when you're logged in. You can do one or two things. You can click on the support center and find out just about anything you need to know about track ops there. It's a fantastic resource. 
And then if you're still stuck and you have some questions, don't hesitate to select a submit, a submit ticket and that will send us a note uh, and the support team will, will be in contact with you and hopefully address any issues that you may be having. Thank you again. We'll talk to you again next time. Thank you for using TrackOps.